Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create and today I'm going to share with you my newly created album featuring Ciao Bella, London's Calling. I think this is a gorgeous collection. It is so perfect for a trip. Just love it. So here um, I've got, there was some um, alphabet letters uh, that you could fussy cut out. So I did that and I popped them up. Here I featured graphic 45 clock, tea, uh, clock keys. Here I've used small filigree elements to encircle the clock in the um, Big Ben clock tower, which I think makes it pop off the page a little bit. I added some dimensional glue here. It is called um, Diamond Glaze by Judikins, and I just get that at my local craft store. This is a fussy cut element, and then I added these rhinestones and flat back pearls just to kind of make it look uh, a little richer and to give it some more depth. On the side, I've used um, a graphic 45 keyhole and then flat back pearls inside where you would normally see screw heads. And then the back I just left plain because I love this paper. I wish there was more of it. I would love to have fussy cut this out, but it was a one of. But it's a beautiful paper. I love the side. Um, I chose to wrap the spine instead of um, split it here where I've often done that. So I've got um, albums featuring both techniques. I think it turned out lovely. This is an eight and a half by eight and a half by two and a half with four pocket pages. On the inside I um, put a very large pocket and of course, if you're traveling, you're going to wind up with maps and tickets and um, items, uh, basically ephemera that you're going to want to save to document your trip. So I made a nice deep pocket. I did put an insert in here, but I, I did that on purpose so that you have a place to collect larger sized ephemera. Over here, we have a simple flap that opens to the left and to the right with lots of photo space here. Um, each pocket has a large photo mat. Okay, another flap. And I um, split this right where the carriage is so that we would have the carriage independent. Perfect place for a photo here. More photo space. A nice map, lots of photo space. You could maybe even pinpoint some of your locations. I think this is Westminster, the map, yeah. Okay, over here we have a nice pocket. So I, I went ahead and put three photo mats in here. I put two in the cut list. I added a third one last night when I had gone through my, my uh, scraps to see how much paper I had left. And there's enough paper to do a couple more uh, inserts and then probably enough paper to do the back side of these if you so desire. And again, another large photo mat. So I had enough paper to do two of these and two of these. So I go back and forth. Okay, here is my favorite layout of the album. And um, what I did was I came in four inches from the top and bottom and then just created a curve right here at the edge of the moon. Um, I split those papers apart, created a pocket on this side. So I've got an insert and then a card. And then this becomes a flap. There you go. Now the instructions in the cut list are for a rectangular shape. If you watch the video when I'm making this, I'll show you how I how I did that, how I took the second half of this, which was oriented this way, and used it for the po inside pocket. So if you're interested in this page, like the way it turned out, um, definitely watch the video for page four and five, and it'll show you how to get these curves. Um, it was very simple, no special tools needed. Okay, but I like, I really like the look of it. I had it in my mind and it actually turned out better than I expected. Now this page I was a little disappointed in, but I bet you guys can do better. So the idea was to have this beautiful image uh, span both pages. Now the image itself is too large to just go on an eight by eight because that was my first inclination. I'd wind up cutting off some of the feathers. Now what I found was this piece that I cut for the center here isn't quite wide enough and so you have the gaps between the eyes that are a little bit larger than I had intended. So if this was a little bit wider, I made it a quarter inch, it needs to be at least three-eighths of an inch. And probably, you know, even a little bit 
bigger, um, but not quite a half inch, or otherwise you're going to get into the hinge area, and then that's going to want to buckle against the page. So I like the concept. I'm a little disappointed with my uh, implementation, but if you guys decide to do this, I bet it'll turn out better. I talk about those lessons learned in the video, and then also the other thing you can do is just split the bird um, somewhere, and half here and half here, and just leave a black mark in, in the middle. But it was such a cool image, I really wanted the whole thing. Okay, lots of photo space inside because it's too hard to put a photo here, although a small one here might be okay. Oops, I did that backwards. Another insert, I'll leave that in. And then here I took a 12 by 12 and split it. There were two um, light posts and I split one of the light posts in half so that it would make this complete image. So it looks like the buildings are going continuing and it turns out you could probably you can do it really either way but I kind of like the idea of splitting that post in half so it's a pretty simple page um, the challenge came in how to cut this paper so that it lays over and looks like a continuation of the street um, and the buildings on it okay over here we already talked about this nice large pocket to collect the ephemera that you're definitely going to come across on a trip to London you know, you'll, you'll want to um, store most of those things. You can either adhere them to an insert or just stash them in the pocket, depending on the size. That is London's Calling. I hope you guys enjoyed. All the tutorials, as usual, are up now, um, in addition to the walkthrough. All of the products are available in our shop at the moment, so be sure to, to click on the links in the description that'll take you right over to the shop and right over to the products that are featured in this album. So as always, we really appreciate you guys coming over and uh, taking time to look at our projects and then further coming over to the shop and uh, giving us an opportunity to sell you some of these products. I want to wish everybody a happy new year and thank everyone for all their time and um, comments over the last year. They've been very helpful. They keep uh, one motivated. If there is something you'd like to see in particular, and it's a brand we feature, hop on over to, to Scrap and Create website and drop us an email. Um, Julie is the one that um, organizes the projects moving forward because she has to make sure that we have the material to sell once we complete an album. So if there's something you'd like to see, Send us a note and the next album up, um, or the next project up, uh, Viv, um, one of our uh, customers and viewers has asked us to do Cozy Moments. And so that's the next project I'll be working on. But again, if there's something you'd like to see, drop us a line over at Scrap and Create website and we'll try to get it in the project list moving forward. Thanks again. As always, this is Daphne from Scrap and Create.